Hello everyone. Welcome to How to Throw a Lidded Pitcher by Wendy Summers of Summer Hollow Pottery. Before we begin, I want to make sure that you understand that this video assumes that you already know the basics of pottery throwing. So I will not be explaining all of the details um, such as how to center and how to open. Um, this is mainly for a more advanced people who understand at least the basics. Okay, day one. I'm using about four pounds of clay. And I'm, make sure when you open it, you um, compress the bottom so you, you don't want any S cracks. not much to say about this part, just making your initial pulls to establish the height of your pitcher. Make sure you compress the top. Okay. Now you need to establish where your lid is going to set before you finish throwing. That's what I was doing there with the plastic rib. One final pull to get the height that I want and before I start to shape. Okay, this is going to be a very classically shaped pit pitcher. Nice full belly. Now I clean the excess clay at the bottom of my pitcher so that I don't have to do any trimming. going for my final shaping. Let's establish a line to separate the belly from the neck. Now every time I work up at the rim there, I'm going to re-establish that galley where the lid is going to sit eventually. Make sure I get all the water out of the bottom. Now with my calipers, I'm going to measure the, the inside diameter. I'm going to do some final shaping up on the rim and the neck portion of the picture. Okay, now I want to use all the clay that's up in that area, including the clay that's in the, the um, galley area. So I'm just going to compress it and, and press and pull with my fingers, making sure that my hands are have adequate moisture. And I'm just going to thin it out. shaping and lifting of the spout. And there we go. Let's make sure that that juncture of the belly and the neck are well established and not warped. One final 
measurement with the caliper, calipers. <laughs> Okay. Now I need to throw the lids. I'm going to throw the lids off of a large piece of clay. I obviously don't need all this clay for any individual lid. I'm just going to use the top part. Make sure you compress the inside of your lid. Now I use a needle tool to just slice it off the hump. There we go. And just for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and make another one. Okay, now we're pretty well done with day one, and we will continue on with day two. Okay, my plugs are all ready to go for the handle. But first I need to work on the lid. Fine with finishing work, the best for me, at least it works for me, to keep my area and my hands pretty clean. Okay, I've tapped the lid on the center, and now I'm going to anchor it with a couple of pieces of clay. trim that excess clay and shape the top of the lid. I'm using a handmade ribbon tool. The end was made out of the bristles of street street cleaners when they lose their bristles. Okay. Now I like to make the little knobs of this particular pitcher style um, to be very organic. Um, reminds me a lot of claw hammered claw footed bathtubs, but in order to do that I need two pieces of tapered clay. So it's kind of a combination between the, the claw footed tub and, I don't know, maybe a gourd.
Okay. I'm going to join these two pieces. Make sure I score them well. Once again, I find clean hands are the best way to make it, make sure the final product is nice and neat. Okay, and I roll. Spirals are pretty important in my work. Just a little bit. All right. Now, if you'll remember, I threw this so that I would not have to um, trim the bottom at all. I'm just going to smooth it and sign it. get the ha handle on it. Make sure I score that as well. Now, I'm sorry there are two big flaws in this video. Number one, I'm decapitated here. And number two, once I get this handle on, when I hold up the pitcher to pull down and um, shape the handle, you will not be able to see very much because I wasn't obviously zoomed out on my lens on the camera. So if you need to see a handle being pulled, check out my video on throwing a tall mug and you'll be able to see it there. Got a tail there, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, now I'm going to leave that a little long. I like to have a substantial tail, so I'm just going to fold it up and then work it in. Sure, the lid fits. All right. And there you have it. 
thrown and lidded pitcher. I hope you enjoyed this video.